Bob Eden, and I've been running raw water for the past 18 years. I'm a biologist by first degree, and then I retrain as an engineer. And raw water is all about bringing biology and engineering together to solve industrial problems. We comprise 15 scientists and engineers, and we specialise in two areas. One is the forecasting of the growth of bacteria in oil reservoirs that cause degradation of the crude oil. The other is the sealing of old abandoned oil wells once they come to the end of their useful life. And between those two parts of the business, we also understand how these seals, these old abandoned wells, when they're plugged properly, how well they resist biological attack. It's important to be here because we're close to Birchworth. Although we're primarily an oil and gas company, we've just been recently introduced to the nuclear industry. And nuclear industry is particularly concerned about high integrity operations. And the seals that we've been developing, we now can deploy in nuclear environments. We were approached uh, probably about two, three years ago by Warrington & Co. And that was uh, an approach from Liz de Maison. Liz very quickly understood exactly what we were doing and she has put us in contact with a number of the big blue chip companies in the northwest the most recent being Sellafield National Nuclear Labs. What we feel is that the growth areas include not just nuclear but also military and we are in discussion now with uh, military teams. Royal Water works with a number of Northwest universities. In particular, we've got close relations with Manchester University, material science, and also earth science. It's a fantastic recruiting ground. There are some really good quality candidates coming out of Manchester. And the facilities themselves are first class. Uh, we wouldn't really want to be anywhere else. The Cheshire Science Corridor, it's a growing hub. And what we at Royal Water found is that the competencies and capabilities that we require to develop our own businesses can be found entirely within the Cheshire Science Corridor.